The Slavs are one of the most mysterious ethnic groups. Historians and population geneticists find it hard to pinpoint their origin, and it seems that Slavs sort of spawned in Europe out of nowhere in the early medieval period. In this video, I will share the DNA results of an unmistakably Slavic sample from the 7th century BC. This person lived near Dnipropetrovsk in Ukraine in the Iron Age. This sample is very peculiar. It is an example of a case where archaeology clearly contrasts with genetics. According to archaeological findings from Ukraine, there shouldn't be any Slavs there at this time. Instead it should be populated by Scythians. And yet this sample is clearly Slavic genetically. This sample is around half-step in origin, with the rest of its ancestry being split between Anatolian farmer and Western hunter-gatherer. This is a typical breakdown for Ukrainians, Southern Poles, and Slovaks. Going further back in time, roughly half of his ancestry goes back to the globular amphora culture, while the rest of his ancestry can be attributed to the steppe. Contrary to popular belief, Iranian Neolithic farmer ancestry was present in early steppe people and Europeans do score Zagris on QBM. This sample is the earliest clearly Slavic sample we have. It is interesting that he's got a significant contribution from the Balkans. It seems that the Balkan substrate was present in Slavs from the very beginning. According to G25, this sample is closest to modern Slovaks and Southwest Ukrainians. According to FST analysis computed with Admixtels 2, this sample is most similar to Ukrainians, Belarusians, Russians, and other Europeans. It is quite distant from the Finns. He carried a very Slavic Y lineage, R1A Z282, which is common in Russia, Ukraine, and Poland. Now let's look at his trait predictor results. He is predicted to have blue eyes, darkest blonde hair, white skin, straight hair, and a Greek nose shape. Regarding the rate of dopamine reuptake, he was intermediate between warrior and warrior, had lowest odds of autism, low levels of empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and most likely blood type B. He scored particularly high for odds of kidney stones, epilepsy, and AMD. He scored particularly low for odds of rheumatoid arthritis, bipolar type 1, schizophrenia, type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, Putz Jaegers, Jacob Kreutzfeldt, familial hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, Brugada syndrome, FDD, Fabry disease, Lefromini, FMF, panic disorder, cyclopia. You can purchase his raw DNA in 23andMe format from the link in description. Links to my products and services will be there too.